Hey everyone, Jackson Hayes here with Android Police. I am super excited to be making this video, uh, my first ever for Android Police. So uh, sit back, grab a cup of tea, relax, and let's talk about the Google Assistant. In a previous video on this channel, we covered some fantastic ways to customize your Google Home. As we all know, however, the Assistant built into the Google Home is in more places than just the smart speaker. Whether on smartphones, Chromebooks, or even some smart displays, the Google Assistant is one of the most widely used digital assistants. And at Google I.O. 2018, Google announced their latest changes to their AI product. First, they added a total of six brand new voices to the Assistant. Now, it's much easier to differentiate and customize the Assistant to your liking. Here's what those voices sound like. I'm your Google Assistant, and I'm ready to assist. My name, your Google Assistant. My mission, to assist you. I'm your Google Assistant. Hi. I'm called your Google Assistant. It's quite fitting. I'm your Google Assistant, and I'm ready to assist. Google Assistant's the name. Helping you is my game. Google announced that the voice of John Legend would be coming to the Assistant later in 2018. Google says that voices now take only a few weeks to complete thanks to new deep learning technology instead of what used to be countless hours inside of a recording studio. Hopefully we see a wider selection of voices for our Google Assistant sometime in the near future. Also, the technology for creating your own custom voice is probably not too far off, so it's likely that that might be a reality in a few years. Next, in an effort to make talking with the Assistant more like human interaction, Google has introduced a new feature they're calling Continued Conversation. Instead of having to repeat your hey Google trigger phrase to ask a follow-up question to your Google Assistant, the Assistant will now automatically begin listening after responding to a query. This, I think, was Google's initial dream for the Assistant. Back when the Assistant was announced in early 2016, when details on how the Assistant would work were quite vague, Google talked about having a conversation with the Assistant, a human-like back and forth. Continued conversation makes talking with the Assistant a much more fluid experience. Continued conversation is only for smart speakers at this point. Custom routines are also a thing, allowing you to do a bit more automation with the Assistant. A preset series of commands can now be triggered if you set up a custom routine. For example, turning off the lights, closing the blinds, setting the thermostat, and locking the door when you say goodnight. Creating a custom routine is quite simple. All you have to do is open the Google Assistant via the app or gesture, take your pick, tap on the explore icon, tap on the overflow menu, tap on settings, scroll down to routines, and hit the plus button. The first thing to set up is the trigger phrase, which is completely up to your personal preference. Then you can set up the actions to run when said phrase is heard. It's quite similar to IFTTT, if this then that. Do note that the available actions depend on the type of device that you're using. On an iPhone or a smart speaker, for example, it is not possible to launch an app via the Assistant. For the former, it's due to platform limitations, whereas for the latter, and this should be obvious, there aren't any apps to open. And just for kicks and giggles, I created a little something with the repeat after me action. It goes a little something like this. Google. Is the AI apocalypse coming? There is no escaping it. Multiple actions are a new addition to the Assistant, allowing it to understand more complex queries. The example Google provides goes something like this. Instead of having to ask, what's the weather like in Austin and what's the weather like in New York, two separate queries, you can now simply say, what's the weather like in New York and Austin? Unfortunately, it looks like multiple actions has not been added to any of the devices that I've tested, so I'm still waiting. In a similar vein, Google has increased the maximum number of chain commands from two to three, allowing you to ask, what's the weather like in Toronto? And will it snow there later today? And what's a thousand dollars in Canadian? Unfortunately, this seems to be slowly rolling out as well, as I can't seem to get chain commands to register with the assistant. It only kind of answers the last command. With the latest updates out of the way, I thought I'd share a collection of some useful, fun, or entertaining things to do with the Google Assistant. Some of you may do this already, but if you say good morning to the Assistant, it will give you the weather, your commute to work, calendar events, any reminders, and then automatically play the news. This might sound oddly like a routine, and guess what? It is. What happens when you say good morning is simply a series of commands completely customizable. Feel free to tune this to work exactly the way you want it to. The assistant can help you remember things like pins, parking locations, or even your shopping list. Just tell it to remember that my bike pin is 8229, or remember my parking location, or add avocados to my shopping list. And when you're at the grocery store, you can easily view your shopping list simply by saying, show me my shopping list. In the category of fun, try asking the assistant the question, what have I got in my pocket? For everyone in Team Star Wars, try out, I am your father. Here's a few more. Who am I? When am I? Who's on first? Also, you can try Spell Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. 
Most of these fun commands have multiple responses programmed into the assistant, so ask them multiple times. You might get some surprising results. And that's it for this video. Let us know what your favorite change to the assistant is down in the comments below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and visit androidpolice.com for your coverage on everything Android. Thanks, and I'll see y'all later.